So we're here with my sister and my mom. And myself. So we're just checking out some of the cakes and stuff. My mom really likes these choco pies. Onion soda cracker. That looks kind of good. It's always a good indication when they're sold out some. You know, it's like a good one. This one has live like seafood back there. I like the imagery on some of this stuff. Asian mom trying to find stuff. Strawberry puff. Oh, sorry guys. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to not make it look like I'm filming. Yeah, I saw that too. Look, there's a choco roll, mom. I'll try to get a shot of that seafood stuff. And these are pretty common. A lot of people know about like these kind of things. My daughter, she loves Pocky, so we're always trying something new. These are very good. My kids like those wafer sticks too. This is the second one we've been to today. The second Asian market. But. I know, I saw those. See, mom said the same thing. They're kind of sold out. You know what I mean? You could tell people buy them, so they gotta be good. Who are you talking to? YouTube. Say hi, you can be famous, mom. Hi, I'm already famous. <laughs> so we just like to check everything out. So we're on a really neat aisle. Hold on, stop the buggy. My birthday's in a few days, and I found a Yuxing clay pot set. I see fingerprints on it, but normally handmade uh, Yuxing pots are like hundreds of dollars, so I don't know. Um, look how big these, let me stand up. I'm a bad cameraman. Look how big these thermos, they're huge in real life. Like, there's my hand. They're huge. And, uh, oh yeah, they do, huh? There's a blue bowl, Elizabeth, that matches our kitchen. I think that's more for like some type of ceremony. Oh, I wanted to get one of these. I couldn't find my rolling pin. Where's this blue bowl? And I've been making scones right there. Oh, yeah. Anyway, $3.99 wooden rolling pin and also self-defense. So here is like their fresh market. This particular um, store is half store, half restaurant. The restaurant, restaurant is closed due to COVID right now, but um, they will get all your stuff out fresh for you, whatever you order. So like down there is fish, see them? All different kind of fish. baby cucumbers and she got some tiny little baby sweet potatoes and we want to get a dragon fruit but they're kind of hot $5.99 a pound and they are pretty big I don't know what those are chestnuts and these look nice fresh tangerine some different kinds of noodles. Here we have Chinese radish. Yeah, I know. I saw those tangerines. Uh-uh. A 
Ooh, ginger. And durian fruit. What's the difference in these Chinese eggplants, you said? I said that the skinny ones don't have as many seeds in them, and uh -huh. they're not as bitter. Hmm. This one needs some, uh, what do you call it, stuff to make it harder? Mom. She did that. This one, this one needs no, Mom. I think it's pretty stiff. What'd you say about this durian? We should open it just to smell it and see if Oh, it's I know, they always say it's like really bad. But like... They wouldn't sell them. People didn't buy them. But what right. do they do with them? Like uh huh. For that ginger. Hey, mama. They go mama. through it. Uh -huh. Mama. I think you're looking for something a little dark. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I bought some of that, and I threw it out because I found out it's poisonous if you don't cook it right. Oh. This is very big. Cassava. Yucca. Cassava this root. This is yucca. Oh. Yuck. And I bought some, and it's. You guys always want to get this durian. That stuff. That so why? It's I bad. Say it's so good. Are these plantains, Mom? It says banana something. What kind of bananas are I don't know, but they're like a uh, weird shape. How much are these a pound? Uh, I can't see. But look, they have baby ones. Yeah, I want to know how much are. Ooh, baby bok choy. My sister got some uh, nice looking bok choy. I don't know. These look good. They look really good. Okay, so it's the next day, pretty late at night, and I was just going to show you guys because I'm going to get ready to wash this um, for the first time. All the boxes were quite dirty there. You know, you could tell they've been sitting there a while, but the box is really, really nice. I'm going to try to uh, take all this stuff out and use it as like a... A tea storage box if I can so um, the box is made of cardboard but it's just, it's, it's very nice <clears throat> so I watched Maylee's video on how to determine a real yishing pot from like a lower quality or even a fake one and I'm not sure I mean for the price point I know it's nothing amazing or expensive but because these are two or three hundred dollars for an all handmade one but based on what he said I don't think I got necessarily a horrible one but I don't really know um I know that it really shouldn't be shiny but all like in real life the pot is matte but right there it's shiny and I looked at the other set that they had and it was the same way but the first thing he said was you want to make sure let me get down here that that there's a line where the handle and the bottom of the lid and the spout kind of line up evenly and this one does that and he said on a good pot you want to make sure that it doesn't slide around and he shows in the video and like this one it's snug and he said that they wouldn't necessarily feel smooth they would have texture and of course I don't have anything to compare it to I've ordered a different yishing clay pot that's coming again um, not a super expensive one um, but I don't really have anything to compare it to but this is not super smooth it, it's it is textured and I tried to take the sticker off it's on there so that's why I'm gonna have to wash it but um if you look pretty close you can see fingerprints on it um I don't know if my camera will pick it up but um there are places on the pot um especially the lid I don't know if it's gonna focus in on it or not probably not Ugh, come on it probably won't but this is making y'all sick to watch me too
but like there you can see like like thumbprint he said to look for a seam line and I don't necessarily see one but now that I'm filming I think I see hold on I'm trying to look through the camera and in real life hold on is that a seam one no because there's not one on the other side so anyway I don't really know but from what he said this matches you know the checkpoints anyway that was a little tea geekery for you comes with the gonged out bay and one two three four five six eight cups and this is supposed to be purple clay from what i've googled and then you get your filter and your filter holder i'm not really a fan of matte which is why i haven't dove into one of these but the more i've watched mayleaf and went down the rabbit hole of traditional chinese and japanese teas it it's apparent that you need one to really get the the right taste and quality out of it. So, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, my family put in a little bit towards it for my birthday present, so I was really excited. So, that's what that looks like. I did find a set very similar to this on AliExpress. The Gong Dao Bay looks exactly like this one. So, if I remember... And if I can figure out how, I'll put that link below if you guys want to order one. But I think it's a really nice set. Again, I'm not well versed in Yixin clay yet, but I'm getting there. So um, I'll update you guys as I use it and season it and see how it goes.